Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. As you can see, my good friend John Hall is sitting next to me. Yeah, hiya. Nice to see you all again. I uh, hope you're all doing well. This is actually the day after the, f the stuff we've actually shot before. This is you come back with another lot of stuff, haven't you? That's right, yeah. I did mention in the previous videos, due to physical constraints, I simply couldn't carry everything in one go. So I brought the majority over yesterday and today. I had a bit of spare time, a bit of time to kill. So I did tell John about the time. I bring the remaining uh, few goodies over. So, you know, we're going to have a look at those um, today. But first, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about the, we're going to open up and look at and speak about the transfers of Blood for Dracula and the Police Story Trilogy. So I've got John Hall with us over there. Oh yeah, you alright? <laughs> and we're going to unbox this together and we're going to see this for the first time, the, the pair of us, the amazing Severin Blood for Dracula. So I'm just going to, honestly, this I can't tell you how good this, this one is. It's a spectacular release, isn't it, John? It is, yeah. I mean, there is a UK release not long come out on Blu-ray, but I mean, it doesn't have the UHD option. It doesn't have the CD soundtrack. So really, the CD seven release, yeah. it, it's the way to go this one. Yeah. I know. The only thing, that, as much as the Vinegar Syndrome one is amazing for Frankenstein, it's mm -hmm. a shame they put, put the uh, soundtrack in there because yeah. the soundtrack of Frankenstein is equally as good as Dracula. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll get into this and then we'll go and open it and we can see what our reaction is to this spectacular set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking forward to it. So that's the shrink wrap off that uh, well cut off, should I say, but I've still retained it to the disc, uh, the, the cover, just to keep it that little bit extra pristine because oh, it's yeah. all about that, keeping it in the most, the best condition you can. In my eyes, that's what I do. Now, John, I'm going to say to you, what would you do in this? If you opened this, would you take the shrink wrap fully off or what? I would, yeah. You would, right. yeah I mean, you should have own. You know, I mean, I understand why you want to keep the shrink wrap on, uh, shrink wrap on but for me, um, I prefer to have it off altogether. Sorry, that's... take it off altogether. <laughs> sorry, that sounds, that sounds... I came across the wrong way. Sorry Hey, I that. tell you what. Yeah. Keep it PG. Yeah. I didn't realise this was like this. It's uh, like a digit pack, yeah. That's, that's uh, news to me on this. I didn't really know what it actually looked like inside. You know, I know, yes, uh, unfortunately, massive. I know this is probably going to have some artwork in it. It's not, uh, oh, actually, look at that. No, that is a very attractive package. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's the cover of the UK Blu ray. It is, isn't it? It is, yeah. You are right, Claudio Gitzy. Claudio Gitzy, yeah. Is it Gitzy? Gitzy, I think, right. yeah. That's nice. That's a nice touch. Yeah, it looks like, like it looks like the, is it the Italian Dracula Vuole Viveri. Yeah, Cerca Sangue di Virginia. Yeah, yeah. I, I was oh. just going to say that. Oh. Virginia. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're genie. Yeah, yeah. Um, We're genie. Um, so these, behind these discs, they do have the same artwork yeah. on. Yeah. Showing the kind of, kind of align them as well. Uh, yeah. yeah, but you've got the UHD on the left, the Blu-ray in the centre, and the CD on the right. Don't you hear the CD yeah. soundtrack? Mm -hmm. There he is, having a lovely meal. It's a lovely packet of mine, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. So I'll turn this over now, see what's on the other side. I've never seen that one before. Neither have, have I. No, it's a new one on me. I think I might have seen the centre one before. The, the black That rings a there. bell yeah, a little does, bit. Yeah. But uh, this one here seems to be quite new. Mm. I'm not saying it is new, but it's new to I've us. I've never seen it before, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. But I mean, you've got the count on the prowl there. You know, for where, where the gin blood, you know, exactly. Uh, but I'm afraid he's going to have to be nipping there quick to beat uh, the local handyman, you know. Oh, yes, there he is with his designer haircut that no. you get in when you work as a farmer. That's it, he wanted to be a you know, his, his friend wanted to be a monk. Is this the one with the monk? No, that's, that's flesh yeah, I was going to say, it, I... but if, if you look at that, that to me is Stefania Cassini from Suspiria. Right. She plays one of the sisters. Would you say that was? I would say that's probably her in the, uh, in the middle. Yeah. yeah, right. Excellent. So this is an amazing set. It is. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Vinegar Syndrome did a, you know, a, a first class job with Flesh of Frankenstein and okay. Severin uh, in turn have, have done a first class job with this. They have, haven't they? You know. So I'll put this back together. And what we'll do is on this video, you'll see me and John talking about what we thought of the presentation in here. We're going to look through it. We'll look through at the, the 4K quality and give you, you our opinions on that. 
I wish I brought my glasses. <laughs> you can lend mine. I've got plenty of pairs. <laughs> right. So this is the amazing Eureka 4K box set of the Police Story Trilogy. Now, John, I'm going to ask you, there's more than just the three films in there for mm. Police Story. There's what police, you got. There's Police Story 4, First Strike, and there was also... Um, let's have a look. There's also an unofficial Police Story 5. I believe it was um, Michelle Yeoh's Once a Cop. Also known as Super Cop, and that was, I think, also known as Police Story 5 in some territories. Really? And then there was, um, in he done, uh, Jackie Chan done New Police Story in, I think, 2004, which is really good. It, it's not a continuation on, he's playing a different character, but at the same time, New Police Story could fit quite snugly into mm. the this Police Story uh, saga. Really? And then he done one, uh, one after was called Police Story Lockdown. Um, again, I haven't seen that one yet, mm -hmm. but again, I think he plays more like a dramatic role in that one. So I've had the Blu ray for years once again. Typical me, never got a chance to watch it. <laughs> but um, it's on the list, it's yeah, 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 it's on the list when I'm when I retire or if, if I retire, you know, I get, get around watching it sooner or later. A uh, bit like Zombie 3, isn't it? It is, yeah, you don't know which, you don't know which one's the real, but the real Zombie 3, please stand up, you know. <laughs> right, anyway, no scalpel. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We'll get into this, and John Hall is going to take you through this this set and show you what this set entails. Mm -hmm. So we'll get the shrink wrap. I've cut my finger off and all over the place. Well, that's that's the thing, yeah. <laughs> right, so that's a shrink wrap off there. Well, kind of off that side anyway. So I'll pass you over to my good friend John Hall, and he's going to take you through this box set. Okay, here we go, folks. My first unboxing yeah. video. I hope I uh, don't uh, muck this up. Okay, so we've got the Lovely Richard Slipcase box here with all the cover by RP Kung Fu Bob O'Brien. Uh, yeah, it's uh, nice. I like the orange as well. You know, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's got a good uh, a good look to it, like a colour scheme. Quite striking. Okay, right. So first of all, I'll take up the first item on this in the box set, and that is the all-time classic police story. Okay, UHD. Uh, I wonder if it's a, got yeah, sorry uh, about that. Um, well, there's no, I mean, there's no Blu-ray. You don't get any Blu-ray with this, you know. So oh, it's just a 4K. Yeah, just the 4K. So uh, again, image from the opening scene in Shanty Town where it gets totally destroyed. Mm -hmm. uh, let's have a look here. Extras. Oh, there's a ton of extras on here. You know, uh, different cuts of the film. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I believe. Let's have a look. Audio comment. Brand new audio commentary. You know, yeah, more actually audio commentaries. You know, just um, various different uh, alternative deleted scenes, stunts, promo, trailers, you know. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best version of Police Story you can get. I know there's a Criterion Blu-ray, you know, over in the yeah. stage, which I've got a copy of. Um, but I don't know, um, I don't know if that's a superior uh, UHD to this. To my mind, this is, if I had to get a UHD, this is the one I would get. Uh, these are out separately, aren't they? Um, I think. I think what's happened is they released the trilogy again in UHD, but in the standard packaging. Oh, right, right. And I think the cover is this cover. Right, so right. it's the Police Story trilogy with this cover, but it's it's like a standard Amory case. There's no slip right. case. So that's you've fair. scored with this one. Yeah. So and that's Police Story there. And next up on the Jackie Chan agenda, we've got, the again, the UHD of the sequel, Police Story 2 from 1988, I believe. Um, I believe this was the cover... Of the vintage vintage VHS, VHS release on uh, from VPD, I believe. Um, let's have a look. And once again, I believe uh, we've got multiple cuts of the film. Again, audio commentaries. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's my audio commentaries. Uh, also, the um, Jackie Chan episode of the Sun of the, of the Incredibly Strange Film Show with Jonathan oh, that, Ross. That's brilliant, that mate. It is. Yeah. What's that? A few things. Um, interview with one of the bad guys, Benny Lai, the uh, Death Mute Super Kicker. Yeah, Outkicks trailers, you know. So again, um, to my mind, you won't get a better version of this. If I'm, you know, if I'm wrong, you know, please somebody correct me. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's have a look. So there we go. It's Police Story Two, and I believe from 1992 is Police Story Three, also released in a chopped down version. Uh, in America, a super cop back and around the mid to late 90s. Mm. Um, I do like that cover actually with yeah, Chan and Yo back yeah. to back. 
Now, anybody who's seen this will tell you Michelle Yeoh more than holds her own yeah. against Jackie Chan in the stunt and action department. She, again, you know what to expect from Michelle Yeoh. She's bang on the money. Yeah, she's great. You know. Um, big, uh, well, Dev is a big fan of Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. And, uh, oops, watch your hands, Jackie. You know, uh, and again, we've got, uh, let's have a look. I believe the original Hong Kong version on the alternate US version I mentioned uh, earlier. Um, again, audio commentaries and over an hour of interviews. Um, you know, with, uh, let's have a look. Um, you know, cast and crew or whatever. Um, and also featurette on the um, Jackie Chan's uh, video games and basically location featurettes. Again, trailers, TV spots, you know, uh, outtakes, as you would expect from Jackie Chan. Yeah. Um Personally, to me, this, uh, it's good, it's worth a watch, but I would come back to part one and two um, always, you know. Uh, don't get me wrong, great fights, great stunts, what you'd expect, but I would come back to part one and two. Is this the one on the train? It is at the end, yeah. Thought, yeah, thought, yeah. Now, to my mind, the, the end of that, with uh, Jackie hanging from the helicopter, it was maybe he's taken from Dark Man, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, I, you know, I, I don't know, you know. Um, yeah, but uh, again, you know, like I see, I do like that cover, you know. Um, I think as well with the end of this film, it's a bit of a cop out. One, one of the, the main bad guys. Yeah, super, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good one. Super cop out. One of the bad guys, Yoon Wah, um, they could have done a bit more with him at the end. I mean, you'll see what I mean when you watch it. I won't, I won't see anything, but there's number three. Uh, we've also got the. Let's have a look here. I know Eureka does some nice books. Okay, I've so got a few of those yeah. in uh, different sets, and they're really nice. Mate. Now, well, this is quite a weighty book. Feel that, John? Feel that? Oh, yes, that it's is. Quite, it's quite it's quite weight, isn't it? Yeah. It yeah. Is. Um, Receptive. Now well, let's have a look here. Okay, trying not to put too much pressure on the book. So again, we've got um, credits for the police story films. Just basically, you know, very uh, various written articles about the films. You know, uh, let's have a look. Okay, and various stills and what have you, you know. Uh, yeah, again, jockey, yeah. you know, jumping about, super cop. Uh, and again, just various information on the three films. I mean, if you're a Jackie Chan fan, you should need me to tell you these are a must see. You know, if you haven't seen these films, then really, you can't really call yourself a Jackie Chan fan. You know, it's, it's really as simple as that. No, it's. Yeah. it's I would imagine if you're not a Jackie Chan fan and mm. you're thinking about trying them out, mm. try this trilogy out, yeah. and that'll that'll decide whether you, if you don't like them, you'll not like his other stuff. Well, you know if what? you do, this is the starting point. Exactly. If you if all you've ever seen of Jackie Chan is Rush Hour and Shanghai Noon, yeah. then that you're not seeing the real Jackie Chan. It really is as simple as that. And I think any other Jackie Chan fan would probably tell you the same thing. Or a karate kid. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's, Which wasn't uh, that bad actually. <laughs> It's. Yeah. Are they not supposed to be doing a second one? Um, a, fo a follow up to that one. Uh, I think it's been in the works for a while, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, again, I mean, you know, again, multiple. I mean, the. I mean, you have really done a bang up job on this book. Yeah. You know. Um, They're doing all the stuff. Yeah. And bearing in mind, at one time, Eureka wouldn't have touched anything like this, so it's very encouraging that they went down the Hong Kong cinema route, and you they know. Did, they didn't. It was more world cinema, wasn't it? And then all of a sudden, they got yeah. to the. Um, Getting this sort of martial arts stuff. It is. And they do it yeah. really well as well, don't they? Well, the thing is, as well, the very fact they're still doing it proves, shows me it's been a success. So long may it continue. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Uh, if it hadn't took, uh, clicked on, they would have just left it alone, wouldn't they? That's like it, isn't it? Most uh, labels would do. But I mean, when you think of all the labels now who are doing Hong Kong stuff, Arrow, Criterion, 88 Films, Vinegar Syndrome, Eureka, and these are solid labels, so are, you know, favourites you know, favorites with the fans, you know, so. Yeah. That's a familiar still. I've seen that one a few times. I think it, what I'm finding now is that uh, most labels will do uh, kung fu movies and martial arts movies, mm. whereas it used to be niche. It was Certain niche, labels yeah. Labels would do it like uh, Hong Kong Legends, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Nobody else would be doing them. But now it seems to be they're all dipping the tone. That's it. And I think it's because, like I say, because um, when a label like Eureka or like Criterion or 80 Films or Arrow picks up something like this, um, then that should tell you there's something special about these films, otherwise yeah. they wouldn't be releasing them, you know. So not in this way, anyway. Uh, 4K box set. Uh, would you ever thought if back in the day, Jackie no. Chan would have the 4K no. box set of this? No, no, no. No chance. Actually, actually, there, there we go. That's the, is that the the, the pro, uh, promo for the VH UK VHS release of Police Story Two. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, I had all of these v Jackie Chan VPD releases way back when, from the late 80s, early 90s. Now, at the time, they were like the, the well, the, the, the best way to say them, even though they were pan and scan and, yeah. and sometimes cut and dubbed. Mm -hmm. So when you look back now, you think, how could I sit back and watch something like that? Yeah, but... But I think people will put them out, they won't take much care of it, they just say, that's the thing, we'll chuck it out, it is what it is. That's what you get, yeah. These days, they say, right, let's go back to original negatives. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do a good job and they want to do it to the best of, like, the uh, best available elements. The, exactly. As opposed exactly. to just anything goes, like Vipco would say, oh. chuck it on a disc. Yeah, that's digital review more, sir. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, but I mean, again, I mean, really, I mean, this, I mean, they've even put the the American um, artwork for Super Cop, you know, the US version of Police Story 3. Um, so that's there. So, like I say, you get the option of both cuts of the film. Um, and that's the thing with the, this whole trilogy, what you have done is it'll give you pretty much every cut of the film you can pretty much want. Yeah. You know, so really, you're, you're not left wanting, you know, so... Uh, I mean, I was, as I said before about Michelle Yeoh, as far as I'm concerned, she's uh, never been better. Yeah, then uh, yes, yeah. madam, royal warriors and magnificent warriors. Um, which again, I'll be you know, I, you know, I'm leave that to me for you, you know. It's uh, <laughs> but um, no, so you know, which is great this anyway. But there we go, like I say, it's a fantastic, weighty yeah, book, is, you know, and uh, yeah, it's an excellent, an excellent release from Eureka, really. Um, I mean, yes, if you if you buy the standard version, all you're missing is the, the ridge slip case and the booklet, yeah. Everything else is the same. I, I don't think you're missing any extras. Everything's fine. It's only the packaging which you're missing yeah. out on. Right. You know, but no, it's an Eureka. Fantastic job. Yeah. You know, um, totally agree. if there's a better version, just let me know and I'll, I'll admit the, <laughs> you know. Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the two ones, Dracula and uh, Jackie Chan. We're going to have a look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to see what the quality is like and we'll come back at the end of this video in about two seconds time and tell you what we think of the actual transfers. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Excellent. So yeah, this is our thoughts on the transfers of these movies. We just sat through there, went through a few of the pivotal scenes, and we're going to share our thoughts on that. Mm -hmm. And obviously I'm going to show some screenshots over the top of this, because I've got some interesting things to talk about in this. First up, we'll talk about Blood for Dracula. Now, I put this on, and in my estimation, I thought that this was better than Flesh for Frankenstein. Now, personally, it's been that long since I've seen the UH, uh, any footage from the UHD release of Flesh for Frankenstein, I can't. Uh, see if I feel the same way but I did like what I saw the transfer yeah. on this again I can't imagine a better version of this looking version of this coming out um, look fine to me not a mark on the transfer I know. detail you know lovely and sharp a lot of texture a lot of depth you know yeah and the colours as well John well the colours really stood out especially the reds obviously with the blood a lot of blood in this and there's the bloods were really you could see it when you when he was uh, drinking that the blood soaked bread and the blood come out of his mouth and he was getting all excited about eating that um, that nice little snack that he brought in for him. I mean, it's a crazy movie, as I said. It's it's so funny, but it's so it's so good. It, but it, to me, it just looked really, the skin texture as well mm -hmm. was absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, and the detail when they were out in the field, that was unreal as well. It was, yeah, like, like trees, bushes, soil, you know, plants. Uh, yes. You know, uh, against the, the wall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just, just spot on. You know, everything... Looking so detailed, you know, yeah. like I say, no marks, nothing on the uh, on the prints or the you know, yeah. as far as as far as we we're, we're concerned, flawless transfer. Exactly. Plus nineteen seventy four as well. Mm -hmm. It just shows you what I can get out on a good remaster of these movies. So really happy about that one. Uh I did think it was gonna look good. Seven are a great uh, remastering company, and I had every faith in it, but I, I do personally I do think I just looked that a little bit better than Frankenstein. Which looks good anyway. Oh yeah, I'm not saying anything bad about Frankenstein, but yeah, this one just had that little bit extra sharpness and everything about mm -hmm. it and colours. Definitely, I'm really happy about that. So that's blood for Dracula. And next up is the Police Story trilogy, uh, which not, not John and I have not long reviewed. And yeah. now, what's your opinion, John? Well, I'm going to say that there's a definite standout. For me on there we look through it you no know, we've got good knowledge of what they used to look like back in the day oh, yeah. and you know it is what it is it wasn't they didn't look very good on vhs mm -hmm. some of them you know you know when they were out first of all pan and scanned they just didn't look as good as you thought now i thought mistakenly that these movies would never look that good but with looking at them now 
the colours, especially on the first one, yeah. were unreal. What were the colours like, John? They were just, you know, like just spot on, yeah. really. The red hit you in the face, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, just stood out like a yeah, like a mile, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, to me, some of the wider shots, like at the start of Shanty Town, are really pin sharp, and like to yeah. see the colour, the, the the you know the red on the on one of the back guys jumpers, the blues, yeah. the yellows, you know, the red the, cans they had. Well, that, exactly, yeah, it, it can really stands out, you know. Yeah. Um, again. I'm no technical expert, but this is the best looking police story uh, yeah, I've seen definitely. thus far, you know. Yeah, brilliant. So, yeah, but we both thought that one uh, original watches of Police Story 2, mm -hmm. it was the lowest of the two. Yeah. So we were well, thinking if it was the lowest, it wasn't going to be that much of a problem because we knew it had, with this, where it was, maybe the way it was shot, yeah. it was going to look a yeah. bit softer. Mm. Now, it did. It looks better than the, the previous Eureka Blu-ray. But it did, out of them two, that was definitely the weaker one, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I mean, I've seen a few different releases of your police story going back, you know, going, like I say, going way back to the VHS, back yeah. in the late 80s. And it's never been a pristine looking film, yeah. you know. Um, fair it's enough. Yeah. Very clean, though, wasn't it? it? Oh, yeah. Again, yeah. I mean, again, there's nothing wrong. There's no marks, no no hairs, no, you know, spots and specks. There's nothing yeah. like that. It's not a, not a case of cleanliness. It's just a case of it could... You would have expected it to be sharper because it was, I believe, three years after Belief Story. So you would yeah. have thought it should have looked, therefore, um, better, but it doesn't, you know. Yeah. And it, it, there were, you know, to me, it was a bit, a bit too soft. Um, I mean, like I say, it's certainly better than what we've had before, but it's, it's definitely the, the weaker, the weakest link in this particular box set. Yeah. So then we checked out Belief Story three. Now I remember going back to a review probably about a year plus ago. From Cinema Axman, I'll leave a link down to his channel down below. Now, Mike said, I'm sure he said in that, in that video that he thought that the third one was the best one by a, a sort of a, by a wide margin. Now, I, I can't remember anything about Peace Story 3 for what it looked like from my sort of original thoughts on it. I have seen it a long time ago. I don't know where I saw it on, probably on a, a bootleg copy, maybe. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. Yeah. So I haven't got a good point of reference. Do do remember, that I've only got the 4K to show you here. I've got no comparisons with the Blu-ray, so I can't tell you between the two. But um, I do remember him saying that. And do check out that video because it goes into more detail about it. But, John, what did you think of Supercop, you know, Peace Story 3? The, the best, I mean, not not the best film out of this trilogy, but the best-looking Mm. transfer out this trilogy by, by, by a mile. It was by a mile. You know, it? I mean, again, if, I, could, I couldn't fault anything with this. Now, apparently, as I was telling you, John, the yeah. the um, UHD release from 88 Films in America, apparently, from what I've read online, uses a different transfer to this. So I can't I can't comment on the 88 Films release because I've never seen it. Yeah. But going by this, you know, this one's going to be hard one to beat because it's, again, John and I couldn't, couldn't find any faults with it. You know, I mean... Well, you know, the cars, the the, the, okay. the lustre on the cars and all the rest of it. It was know. just, they were super sharp, weren't they? Cars they were, always look good in yeah. 4K, but I don't know why, but they do. And then you were looking at that greenery mm -hmm. in the jungle sort of aspect. Oh, yeah, yeah. But when they were open the gates, you could see right into the picture. You know, it, it was one of the, like yeah. sort of semi-3D sort of effect you get from it. Mm -hmm. You know, but I just, I was really blown away by that. I, I expected it to be good when I, I remembered about Mike's review. But that is that is a cut. It, it is. I mean, you, you can you, you'll tell you'll notice the improvement straight away when you, when you check this one out. I yeah. mean, I mean, I mentioned you there was there was a shot where you could see uh, all the texture on Jackie Chan's hair. Yeah. Now, in Police Story Two, the transfer didn't bring that out. It looked it all just like blended into into a, into a mass. Yeah, um, it did, didn't it? But it was like it had no see, definition. It didn't. No, no, no. no it just like just like a black. Mass on top of Jack and Chance, right? yeah, 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 and um, it, but like I say, you will notice that how superior the transfer on, on the third film is, yeah, you know, and like we were both blown away, yeah, you know? and obviously, we didn't look in the extras, but there's just stacks and stacks of extras, and then mm. you've got different audio as well, you can you know, set uh, whatever audio you want on. I did notice though, and I'm not a big audio like you know, I don't know everything about audio, but I did know that one of them was in uh, Dolby Amos. But it was a Cantonese version, so you have to watch that with subtitles. As be story three, was it? I think it was. I think yeah. it's possible. Yeah, you've got an English mono track and also Cantonese at most like it's yeah. normally at track. So yeah. that would be a bit strange. I don't know about the other ones. I didn't look that much into it. Mm -hmm. I will leave a note on here if it was something like extraordinary, like say for instance, Peace Story had a an Atmos track on, 
Because you imagine that, you know, they go down the hill in the cars. Oh, yeah. That would be amazing. So I will sort of put that on there. But at the moment, that did stick, stick out like a sore thumb to say that must track. Mm. And, but, yeah, it's, I can't take anything at this set. It's just absolutely incredible. It's, yeah. it's a must-have, actually. It is, yeah. I mean, like I say, I mean, I don't know if we'll ever see, like, uh, UHD releases of Police Story 1 and 2 um, in, the, in the States sooner or later. Um, may, well, may well be the case. Uh, but for now, I think this is a set to beat. You know, uh, I, I, yeah, I agree. You know, I can't imagine any Police Story fan, like, you know, like I say, you know, not wanting, you know, for this release, because it covers pretty much every base, multiple cuts of the films, yeah. you know, multiple audio commentaries, interviews, the, the lot, yeah. you know. Um, again, if you want this set now, you better pay, pay, pay a small fortune. Right. Um, so, you know, if you, for the for, for a more pocket-friendly price, you might want to go for the standard release, without the, like I say, without the suitcase and the booklet. Um, but this is a, you know, a, a superb set. So, you know, certainly... Um, Certainly well worth uh, well worth the purchase. Excellent. So final thoughts. Actually, I'm just thinking that this this is Severin. Now you do know that Severin have kind of dipped the toes in the water again with the UK. Mm -hmm. They might be going to do more stuff. Maybe I don't know. I've got no knowledge that they're going to be doing that. But this, if this, if they were to put this out in the UK mm -hmm. as this special edition, mm -hmm. I would recommend it highly because it's just a, a really good set and also the picture quality is stunning mm -hmm. and. I don't think it'll get released on 4K by anybody else. Mm -hmm. So maybe, you don't know, Severin might release this in the future in 4K. What's your thoughts, John? I think they would have to wait until the perhaps the rights to the, the current release run out. Because uh, yeah, yeah. unless, unless Screenbound, who, Screenbound Pictures will release the, the, the UK version, unless they don't have rights to a UHD version. That's, that's, that's my thought. Like, again, I could, I could be wrong. If they don't have, have the rights to a UHD release, then maybe Severin could... Creep in and and, and yeah, uh, snap those right up. But again, maybe maybe I'm wrong. I'm not again. I'm not something. I'm, something I'm not sure on. Um, but yeah, the UK version. Yeah, it, it's it, yeah, it's Blu-ray only. There's no UHD, like I said before. No no CD soundtrack. Yeah, and it has I think most of the extras, but not all of them. So again, you're yeah. still missing out. If you're not a big fan of extras, no no big loss. Okay, yeah. but if, if you want the total package, that's the one to go. Yeah, I totally agree. I want to say thanks once again to John for giving me the chance to own these spectacular releases. You're welcome. No, it's my pleasure. Yeah, yeah. there we go. I'm not well, squeezed too hard. <laughs> thing is up. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. You take care. You take care. My name's John. And his name's John. See you next time. See you next time. Take care. Cheers. All the best. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.